This week, we continue with the oak planking for Arabella. And later in the episode, we'll tell you about a big purchase that will be a huge help all around the boatyard. I might need to set these a little deeper, but we'll see how it goes. Mm. Let's need to trim that off again. Oh. Probably need to go. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, have to. I got this. Alright, try that. Our climbing gear looks like the solution to everything. I guess so, because I think this just needs to be reduced, right? The whole plank's going to go down a little bit, which is going to close this up a little bit and open this up a little bit. What do you think? Something like that? We'll just zip it till that line starts to disappear.
I can't hear a thing you're saying. Oh,
We're gonna grab the heat boxes and put them on the plank here and start warming the plank and the clamps and the glue and everything up before we actually glue them. Because if you can't tell, it is getting chilly here. Uh, leaves are on the ground, fall is here, and winter will be here shortly. Uh, so if we warm everything up before we apply the glue, it'll be a lot better. Um, so we get that set up, and while we do that, we're gonna go down to the wood yard and grab uh, the machine that we just purchased and bring it back up here. So this past summer, we had a bunch of oaks on the property die because of gypsy moth caterpillars. They came in two years in a row and just really, really heavily hit the oaks. We lost a lot of them. Um, so we wanted to go and harvest some of those oaks because there's a bunch of white oaks and they're good sized boat building timber. And since we decided to put the few extra oak planks on the boat, pretty sure we have enough oak, but why not be totally sure? And since the trees are dead anyways, and we got to cut them ASAP, otherwise they're just going to become worm and fungus food. Uh, we decided that doing another cut was prudent. So we got a hold of Peter who loaned us the log skidder and turns out Mrs. Clark is on the fritz. She got some water in her diesel tank and the diesel tank rusted. So he decided that he's just going to sell her. So that left us with trees in the woods and no way to get them out. Um, so we started looking around and we got a killer deal on a good sized John Deere backhoe. It needed a little work, but grandpa and Joe the machinist were willing to do the wrenching for us. So we got that for a song and got that up and running and we got it down in the wood yard. We've been doing a little grading and stuff with it. But we can use that to get the oak logs out of the woods and move them around with the sawmill. We're going to put a thumb and some forks on it so we can move our lumber around and stop moving that all by hand, which is going to be really huge. And it's going to let us dig up some of the oak stumps and cut some grown oak knees, which is something we've wanted to do but have not had the capability to do. And when everything's said and done, we can sell it for what we bought it for and it can be the first six months cruising kitty. So we kind of see it as saving our backs for now and putting some money in the bank. I think they'll get warm enough. It's not like it's cold out really. No, it's not. I think we might just cut those off and I think so too. weld that on. Because if we have a full flat surface for that, we can bring it up and out of the way. Yeah. Or take that completely off and just have this U channel left behind. Exactly. And if we want to put attachment points on the bucket or the yellow wagon or anything else, we'll have six ridiculous ones to play with. Yeah, these are pretty diesel. How'd you feel about doing some grinding? Thank you. 